Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Harv. You're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and today I'm going to share with you more of my experiences of getting started on YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the basic equipment you'll need to start making really good looking YouTube videos. My last video is really worth a watch too. I show you all of the things I did to build a following on YouTube and I think you'll find it really interesting. It's linked below as is any gear I mentioned today. So in this video, I'm gonna answer the most common questions that I get on the subject of the gear you'll need when starting a YouTube channel, which are, what kind of camera will I need? I mean, can I just use my phone? Do I need lighting and a microphone? Don't I need some sort of editing software? Is it free? So diving straight in, what kind of camera do you need and can you just use your phone? Well, yes, absolutely is the answer. You can just use your phone. They have pretty decent autofocus and auto exposure, so they're extremely easy to use and are really handy because you always have it with you. One thing to bear in mind is the sensors in camera phones are tiny in comparison to a proper camera. And usually this means grainy looking footage in low light and less of that kind of lovely blurred background look you get with the DSLR. Still, with some decent lighting, you'll be surprised how good you can get things looking on your phone. And they're only gonna get better. We'll get onto audio in a bit, but it goes without saying, the sound recorded by just your phone could usually be, could be a bit better. So yes, you can use your phone or whatever you have. If you have some small amount of budget, personally, I'd highly recommend Canon's mid-level line of cameras like their 70D, 80D, 750D, or later with their 18 to 55 kit lens. But do you need lighting and a microphone? You'll need some sort of microphone, of course, but I'll get to that in a minute. You don't need lighting. Natural lighting is beautiful, and particularly when it's overcast outside. An overcast sky is the biggest and most amazing source of diffused light there is, and you can get a very flattering look, particularly with things like skin tones. If you have a big window that lets in lots of natural light, I would definitely recommend using it. However, the problem with natural light is that it's very changeable and it can mess with the brightness and color in your video. So personally, I prefer to light my scene. The key to doing this, and I can't stress this enough, is diffusion. And let me show you why. Right now, I'm being lit by an Aperture 300D with a big light zone. This combo provides a large and powerful source of very diffused light. It's very flattering because I get the nice catch light in my eyes, a lovely looking sort of soft shadows on the other side of my face. However, if I remove the light dome, it looks like this. You can see the light is very direct, shadows have very hard lines and it looks altogether not very flattering. This is the same kind of effect you get if you film in direct sunlight and why videographers prefer shooting in shade and often use silks and bounce. So let's say you set up your camera in your room and you want to get the lighting looking better. The first few steps I would take would be to turn off any overhead lighting. It's ugly. If you have any table lamps or that kind of thing, they can be quite nice in your background. And if you have a couple of dedicated video lights that don't have quite enough diffusion, a really good thing you can do is, instead of pointing them directly at your face, point them towards the walls and bounce that light back towards you. It's a free and very good diffusion technique. I recently made a really helpful video about how I light these videos, which you should definitely check out if you want to uh, delve deeper into this subject. I'll link it below. I briefly mentioned audio earlier and how, ideally, you don't want to use the audio that's recorded by the internal microphone on your camera or phone as they just don't sound that great. The most common solution is to get a microphone that sits on top of your camera and plugs directly in. They sound like this, which is a big improvement to the sound you get directly from the camera, which sounds like this. Not very nice and you can hear lots of the room and not that nice direct sound of my voice. I prefer placing a microphone as close to my mouth as possible. In this case, I've got one positioned just over my head here. If you want to get into the audio side of things, I've done a few videos that I think will really help you. And of course, I'll link them below as well. But what about editing software? Is it free? I started out using iMovie, which comes free with Apple computers. 
Now I use Final Cut Pro, which of course is not free, but I would argue is extremely good value for money. Luckily there are countless editing software options out there, and if you're using an Apple computer at the moment, then definitely start with iMovie, it's a no-brainer, it's so simple. If you're using a PC, then there are still lots of options, um, free options. Uh, the best few of them I'll link below for you, uh, none of them are sponsors, of course. That's it for now, thank you so much for watching, please reach over and just hit that subscribe button, I'll pop it somewhere here, and if you, if you want to hang around and have something else interesting to watch, I'll pop a couple of interesting videos just here for you, and until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.